We're so excited. We're like with our cameras. It works? Are you sure? Yes. Oh, I hear it making a sound. So that's... The Not exactly the, 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 the boat repair you'd like to have right away. <laughs> it's boat uh, life, right? Uh, we are world towning. Jessica, Will, Avalon, and Largo. Our family has been traveling the world since 2014 until COVID hit. Rather than return to the U.S., we decided to buy a boat and learn to sail in France. Hit the subscribe button and join us every Friday when we share our stories as a liveaboard family while experiencing cultures from around the world. Have you ever had the feeling you've just bitten off more than you can chew and you have no idea what kind of curveball will come next? Well, that's kind of what we feel like right now as first time boat owners with little to no experience whatsoever. That's a novice mistake we made. We know better than that from living in the RV. The one thing that we have going for us, however, is that for the last six years, as we have been traveling the world and making a life out of punching above our weight, we have come to the realization that if we don't try, we'll never know. So we are now all snuggled in and there's everyone. <laughs> Happy birthday, Avalon. Thank you, Dad. You know, next year, we're gonna go sleep in like a sauna. <laughs> the key for us is two things. One, never let them see you sweat. And two, if you have to sweat, do it with a smile. Things will always get better, and the last thing you want to do is ruin a great learning opportunity. It was a crazy night. We are out just to go take some quick showers and get off the boat a bit because we're, I'm a little motion sickness and I'm not. Join us as we become indoctrinated into boat life and share with you our story of why we are choosing this moment to jump into becoming a live aboard family. So today is a very special day in our house. We have, well, we celebrate, we celebrate the weirdest things. We, do, we have a lot of our own holidays. <laughs> this is the back to school dinner. And every year we have a back to school dinner the night before school starts. And then we make them themed hats. It has something to do with either the country we're in or what we're doing or what our goals are or some fun that we've had. So this year it's a nautical theme. Right. So it seems to be some reason that we always have something amazing happening each year. And so it's very easy to pick what the theme of the hat's going to be. <laughs> This year, it's not that hard, right? It's all about the boat. Keep your eyes closed. All right. You can't open your eyes once I put your hat on, okay? You can, can or you can't? You cannot. Why? Because I don't want you to see the other ones. Okay, lift up your head. Put your chin up. Uh-oh. Marcos is falling off. <laughs> Tip your head up. Okay, let me get... Wait, wait. Oh, let's get Largo's eyes in his. I think it was much easier the year we put the baguette on their head. Okay, don't move. Okay, Avalon, where's the other one? Tip your head up, Avalon. <laughs> what are you doing? Hold your head tight. <laughs> Can I open my eyes? Okay, open your eyes. <laughs> these are your back to school hats this year. What do you Can think? I have one of these things? I love them. Do you, you have any extra? I do have extra. <laughs> what do you think, Largo? <gasps> Look at each other's. They're duplicates. <laughs> do you notice the theme, or are we? Yeah, boat theme. Crocodile. Well, that that cro <laughs> that that crocodile on there is just pretend what? it's a fish. What? I have a crocodile on my face? Just pretend it's a fish. The, oh, this God. is probably the first back to school crown that you can <laughs> keep because they all seem to fall apart or so They do. Usually they're, they or fall apart. Or the birds apart eat it. Or before, as soon as we put them on. Okay, so let me explain them. No, no, don't do that. They're Billy on. So you have a boat mm -hmm. that says friendship on it, like our boat, for an exciting year of learning to sail. You have a rainbow up here because our journey is going to be full of rainbows and unicorns and hopefully We'll see about that. Not too many clouds and sharks. Over here, which Largos fell off, let's pretend there is a um, crocodile. crocodile here, which was supposed to be a fish, a lovely, beautiful, wonderful fish. And then I just crocodile. threw in some carambas because they're Avalon and Largos' favorite French candy. Avalon, what, what are we having for dinner? We're having pulled chicken because we don't have pork anymore. Wow, you're already going to town. I'm sorry, you're I'm hungry? really hungry. <laughs> Are you excited to be on the boat this year for school? Um, yeah. I'm just hoping it doesn't interfere with the Wi-Fi. Well, if we learn how to sail right away, you're gonna be teaching. You're gonna be taught by the fish. Longer time to sabotage all sailing, learning outcome, whatever. Cut the ropes. <laughs> cut the mast. <laughs> cut the power. So we're gonna be pirates. 
School's over. It's boat school from now on. Yeah, boat school. How to take over a ship in 85 different ways. I think our, our life is kind of boat school though, isn't it? Don't say that. So yes, with that, we have kicked off the kids' school year, which will go way beyond the books this year. What we are figuring out is that living on a boat is going to be an education all in itself. And in this case, if you fail a test, you don't just get a bad grade, you get hours of extra work. You see, one of our kids, who will go nameless, did not realize that there are limits on the amount of toilet paper that can be used on a marine head. But we were super lucky because we had technicians delivering a new toy who agreed to help out. Okay. You need anything from us? No, no, I don't think so. No. Today's a very you special day, and today we're getting a brand new oven on the boat. When, no we, when we actually we were in negotiations the for the boat, they said that they were actually right. getting a new one put in. By the time we got here, it wasn't here yet, so it just got here. And this is exciting because we'll be like the first ones to use an oven. We have not had an oven in like a long time. In the RV, we did not have an oven. Is it quick? How long does it take? Two minutes? Sorry? How long does it take to do this? To do this? Yeah. I don't know. <laughs> oh no, have you never done this before? Yes. Oh. Okay. It's... Are you excited about the David? I am. What you do? You stay Do you upstairs. need him? <laughs> Maybe it's too heavy. What <laughs> you do? The first guy who showed up, he was there to install the new oven. But the second guy, well, I think he drew the short straw. <laughs> Tell him we're very new to owning a boat, so we made a mistake. Des gants de quoi? And the other, the other unfortunate side with these guys who are helping us is that they're also helping us with the toilet because we don't. It's Listen, I, like I said before, I still don't have the confidence to be able to say I can fix anything on this boat yet. I can None, nevertheless, a sort of a toilet. Nonetheless, a toilet. Yeah. Gloves? <laughs> it's a, it's a whole one? production going on here. I think yes. put too much toilet paper oh, okay. in. We're not used to the toilet, so... Yes. And when you're pointing, won't... who are you pointing at? The teenager right there that's running out the door. <laughs> <laughs> The first thing that we are quickly realizing is that to be a boat owner, if you want to avoid having technicians on board, it pays to know a bit about plumbing and also how much toilet paper is too much. We put a little acid, but it didn't work. Uh, no, no, Don't so put acid? We have to push. We have to push. How do you push? With your hand? The, we just bought the boat. Okay? Five days ago. We uh, don't know anything. Five but days? The, yeah, well, five days. Sure. Can you can I take it off, yes. Yeah. Where did Avalon go? Get her in here. She's ashamed. <laughs> Avalon! You've ashamed your daughter. Avalon? Where'd she go? So I was thinking that this would be a great opportunity to learn what's going on. But unfortunately, it's all in French. Avalon, I need some translation help. I gotta learn how to fix this next time. You're translating, you have to get over there and, and help us. They speak English. No, but no, they don't. Yes. No, 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 no. Listen, you have to go get get there with your pristine white outfit. What's all the doing? water yep. pass by here. Uh, all the water passed yes, by? Yes, that's the way for water. Yeah. <coughs> okay. When the water she, that goes comes, away? Oh, when, when it comes. When she goes away. Okay. When she goes away, okay. So you have to... Uh, how do you say? Unscrew. Unscrew mm -hmm. this, this part. Yeah. And let... All the water run on the floor. Yes. Avalon, you're cleaning um, this up. Have you, um, but your feet are going to get all poop on them, you know. Your no, feet? It's, it's not. Is, you're used to this? Yes. <laughs> when I walk with Rudy, yeah, you every always... time it's for me. <laughs> yeah, he yes. always gives you the bad job. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he's so clean over here yes. in the oven. Yes, yes. Sounds like our marriage. Oh, stop it. <laughs> Could you know? Avalon, do you want to see? Um, um, do you want to see Avalon? No. Nope. Uh, are you sure? You may recognize it, Avalon. Oh, I see it coming out. Do you want a towel? Avalon, get some towels. So we have something awesome coming in and something not so awesome going out from over there. Now you know why vegetables are better for you. <laughs> <laughs> better for me. Yes, they're for you. <laughs> As much as we'd hoped for an easy solution that we could manage through if things got stuck again, we were not going to get let off that easy. So it appears at this point that the blockage is below the actual pump line, which means they may be charging us more for this one. So in there, in the engine compartment is where the actual manual toilet 
sort of exits through to go outside. I don't know. We have to sort of change all the pipes. Okay, so so what do we do now to get this to get the pipe fixed? We go to our surveyor and say, why didn't you test this? <laughs> do you do the changing yeah, the pipe? Oh yes, we can change the yeah. pipe. You do water. everything. Uh, you do you everything, want? huh? What do you want? Oh my God! Yeah, so Cook dinner, so, maybe yeah. some laundry. <laughs> we change the pipe. Okay. Yes. Uh, All right. So you said it's not too expensive. But it will be expensive. It is. Yes. Everything on the no, boat. No, don't on tell the me boat, that. On the boat, everything is Don't expensive. tell me that. I just spent all my money on the boat. I don't have much left. How much is expensive? Uh, How much do you think it'll cost? Uh, m maybe two thousand euros. Huh? Two thousand euros? Yes. Oh, two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. Two hundred. We yes, two hundred. You Between said two thousand. Two hundred. Two thousand. When you said two thousand, I said we don't need this toilet. <laughs> We're gonna put yes. a plant in it and it's gonna look like <laughs> a garden because we're never so, using it again. So. <laughs> <laughs> 2,000 euros, oh my God. Uh, I would have been like, no toilet. No, 200. <laughs> What, what do you think about your first boat project? I think that we've been in this boat five minutes and it's already costing us money. And these guys, I got to learn a lot from them because I'm going to get a part-time job with them while I'm here. Because World Towning is just not going to cut it. <laughs> so at the end of the day, we are having one new oven and most likely one new pipe for our manual toilet. They said that the pipe is very, very old and it's likely that it wasn't poop or toilet paper that it's probably has calcium buildup inside so the pipe that's you know normally this big is probably like this and barely as soon as we started using it stuff couldn't get through so right. we're gonna have to replace that pipe and then um and that that's part of the i guess the idea of having a, a, a 20 year old boat just about yeah is that there's stuff like this that happens it's just i think that we will probably be able to do stuff like this in the future and change pipes and i'm telling you i'm going to be like a hawk watching what he's doing um to learn but right now we're just not we're just not qualified to do that kind of stuff we could i, I don't think any youtube video could have taught us what we just learned so not um, with the way this is set up i've seen videos of where like it just it exits right outside like the toilet line right there but this was like all the way into the engine bay and right. i so just long uh, pipe i just goes. don't want to mess with that kind of yeah. stuff not that right away so five days on the boat and we already have some expenses welcome to boat life the toilet <laughs> <laughs> now we have no more people <laughs> long you want to hear this is brand new right yes, yes. i'm touching it um yeah, it's not yeah, been yeah. used before no, we use we try it before. Yeah. <laughs> Here you can have it. Getting the new pipe installed was a relatively quick operation for the pros. We are removing the fitting from one side of the actual hose and we are then detaching the other side from the actual head, which means that sort of in a few short minutes, if all goes well, we're gonna have a new pipe so that we can unload our pipes. <laughs> oh, and there goes the hose. I have no idea how we would tackle it if it happened again. But lucky us, we have the full process recorded in its purest, unedited form if it should happen again. Yeah. <laughs> That's a good job. Yes, it's a very good job. <laughs> Sometimes. Sometimes. I really had no idea that this was going to be this big of a deal. I had no idea that... I thought they'd come in, snake it, plunge it or something and be out of here in five minutes couple hundred euros later yeah. we gotta learn how to do this on our own good luck with that it took I these two guys like five hours to do it you and i i can do this yeah right listen engine work i don't know toilets i can do with all this mayhem and expenses with unexpected boat repairs less than a week into this life Oh, we had to take a step back and discuss things, not just to share with you, but to have for the record so that one day we can look back on this when we're professional sailors and laugh. The big question is, why a boat? And, and why on earth are we doing this? At this point, we have no idea how to fix a boat. <laughs> this is, guys. We know nothing about marine toilets. We're, we're a little bit over our heads on this one, and we're not afraid of, of a big challenge. Listen, we could tile this boat upside, downside, inside, outside. We can install a kitchen. We can, what we else can, can we do? We do a lot of things. We do have some skills. I know it doesn't seem like it, but we do have some. But yet, we chose not a house to buy. We chose a boat to buy. <laughs> that's a... That's a true. This would have been a lot easier if we'd gone. It the would house have been route. so much easier if we would have bought. But we're here a house. on the boat. So why the boat, and why now during this?
time in the world during COVID, during all that kind right. of stuff. So, so if you know about our backstory a little bit, then you would have known that for the last six months, we were in Asia, we were in Japan, and the idea was to go and hit a country every month and, and for a year and and bask in the greatness that is sort of sun and surf and, and sand yummy food and right we went there we got rid of all of our winter clothing because we were never coming back to cold weather and the dust was barely off our shoulders and here we are back with our tail between our legs well not really but freezing we will, not yet because it's summer but we will be cold there's soon. a lot of things that we missed out on and but that's okay like india and and thailand and so basically we decided we could see that we weren't going to be able to do asia the way we wanted to and visit 12 different countries so we decided to come back to france and if you watch the house or boat video you'll understand kind of the path that we were going and what we were going to do so we won't get into that we'll, we'll link it your hands are all over the place uh, are they yeah oh gosh i'm so french canadian <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say French, but someone's going to say, you're not French. I'm French Canadian. Yeah, she likes Velveeta cheese, but. <laughs> <laughs> All right. So one of the questions we keep getting asked is why we didn't go back to the United States. We're Americans. Many of the people out there traveling full time that were American went back to their home country. Why didn't we do it? And there are really two reasons. Reason number one is we have not lived in the United States for six years and it didn't feel like the natural place for us to go because we are most at home kind of out in the world so that would didn't feel like it would be a good transition for us and reason number two is that you can't buy a boat in the u.s because they're super super overpriced oh then there's three reasons <laughs> there's three reasons you didn't tell me about that reason <laughs> <laughs> right now if you want to buy a boat in the u.s you're going to pay through the roof because they said everyone's it, buying them they said they're 20 percent higher prices than they were say <laughs> a year ago okay now but, but the uh, but the third real reason do you know what the third one yeah, is yeah <laughs> it's because is because right now our us passport is not exactly as powerful as it once was before covid because right now it's just it's just not it's not good to be leaving the united states to go to another country um and it the, because of just the way the things are and i guess reason number four is the the covid numbers are really high in the u.s so right. um we're tending to stay away from that and kind of um isolate a bit and do our little thing um, a couple of people have asked why we want to do a project um the house project was going to be house remodeling the project for the sailboat is learning to sail as a family uh, we kind of going back to the U.S. or coming to France and hunkering down in an apartment um, in winter was would not be a good fit for our family. We've been used to traveling and moving and exploring and kind of having our minds open constantly. And to just come sit stationary until COVID was over wouldn't have been good for us um, from a mental standpoint as well as from a family dynamic. We might have killed each other, right? <laughs> <laughs> so now we're on a sailboat and we don't know how to sail. Now, why boat? Why now? The biggest question we're getting asked right now is why would we do something this risky financially, emotionally, learning wise in times of COVID where everything is uncertain? And there's a lot of answers to this. And one of them is because we're not very bright people. <laughs> I don't have that on the list. We're not very That's so funny because I have all these bullet points, but I just don't have that We're not very one. bright people. All right. Starting, let's start with COVID. Um, I think COVID, Will and I really always live our lives kind of on the edge and doing things our own way and taking risks when others aren't and that kind of thing. We're responsible, and, but yet we're super, I wouldn't call us irresponsible. No, but, but, but I we think, are very sort of live by the seat of our pants type of people. Right. We plan, we pay our bills, we save for a time and we educate our kids, all that kind of stuff that everyone else does. But we don't have a tremendous amount of fear. And the fear we do have is a huge fear of regret. So for us, we felt it was really important to even during COVID times, during our travel business, which is on pause or completely stalled until people start traveling again. Um, we felt it was really important to continue learning and growing as a family. And sometimes the best things come out of those situations where you're really pushed to the extreme and life is hard and you just jump in and you say, I'm still going to do this. I'm still going to take this risk and this plunge and push through it. And to put off this dream of ours, that's kind of been like what we've kept calling our end game for all these years, um, until COVID was over or until it was safer. It may never happen. Right. Um, and part of the reason we started traveling, we were not that sell our house six months later out traveling. It took us seven years because we kept waiting for the safe thing and the, the safe expat package. And we would still probably be waiting today if we hadn't taken the plunge. So life has proven to us that 
if we take these plunges and we go for it, that the planets will align, we'll work hard, and things will work out. Right. So what we realized is that also that we, we were going to retire someplace in life. We don't. We never knew where that was going to be. We're going to retire one day. Well, we just bought a retirement home. This is it. <laughs> this is this is our condo in Florida that we're looking at. We did just so buy a retirement we home. We did. We did. So there's a. There, You're there's so a, funny. I I know. But essentially, you know, we realized that there's nothing wrong with accelerating our plan, and and so that is. We yeah. we know. If there's one thing to be Are certain, you cry? no, but we know if there's one thing to be certain is that if we get through this thing, if we get through this whole boat experiment of ours, and it's not an experiment because it's something that we think that's sort of been in our life and our blood for a long time. And Will always says, if someone else can learn it, we can too. Right. But if we get through this and we survive this and we can actually speak with authority on this one day, which right now sounds like, oh my like, gosh. like, like a, I, I don't even know what. I think you're 500 miles ahead. I can't even imagine speaking of authority on I, sailing. I'm hoping that like five years from now, people will be like, boy, if I do a crossing, I want to do that with Will. <laughs> I that, mean, that's that's because, because I can point to some people right now that I know and I can watch online saying, I want to do crossing with them. What if other people are saying... I am not one of those people. But what if other people are saying that about you, but I'm not saying it? <laughs> well, that because it's today, and, and I don't want to cross with me. But, but you know, that is sort of what we want to progress to, and that is, that's the idea. I think, I think the takeaway is that we have to keep growing and moving and experiencing and learning even when life feels really scary. And right now, I'm not gonna lie, it feels really scary for us because overnight, our business completely went away, our income went away, and we're reinventing until everyone starts traveling again because I know everyone's gonna come on our group trips because everyone wants to travel. That being said, that's my little plug. Um, we still can't, we just can't stop and stall. And I think the older we get, the tendency is to kind of play it more safe. And that's one of the reasons we just said, let's just do it. Right. What's the worst that can happen? The worst that can happen is that oh, we die. Okay, maybe I shouldn't well, have said that. That's not going to happen. That's probably not a good that's one. Not, we will not die. And we're getting a life raft, and we're getting all these backup that's navigation right. systems, and we're getting, and right. a captain's going to live with us forever. Right. And, and we're going to get an empty bank account. So there's, there, <laughs> that, that's okay. Listen, the idea is this, is that um, we are in this to win it is that something we actually say we're in I don't it know. to win I, it i don't know but but we are in this for for the real deal i mean we want to learn we want to be an experienced sailor yeah. we, we want to actually like experience cultures from around the world we, and we're, that's, yeah we want to continue our we want to continue our world tanning brand which has always been to immerse in cultures as we travel and create hometowns all around the world and this will give us the opportunity to kind of get to those off the beaten islands and more remote places that we didn't necessarily have access to when we were traveling by land i mean you're with us from the beginning we know Absolutely nothing. Well, I mean, we know a little bit now because we've had a survey. We've done some studying. We know a little bit. So when you want to see us know absolutely nothing, go back a couple of videos. Right. We learn when we pay someone to teach us. <laughs> and so far, we've been learning a lot. So I, I don't, I, I, one day we envision ourselves circumnavigating, but at this point, we are just trying to learn as much as we can, absorb it. And the only way we're going to get other people out here doing this and thinking it's possible is if we share Ordinary people like Will and I stepping onto a boat knowing absolutely nothing about how to sail and then bringing it kind of full circle and being able to sail on our own and actually one day circumnavigating. So that's our journey. That's what we're looking at doing. Welcome. Yeah. Welcome. Put your questions in the in the boxes below. Um, go back and watch all of our videos. We have bundles Ooh. of videos. How many do we have? How much time do you have? We're going to get ready for, for, for lessons real soon. But until then, get ready to hit that subscribe button. Because wait, 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 wait. What? what? I got to tell him something. I got to tell him something. Um, okay, so. Okay, with that, <laughs> seriously, this time, we do have to go. All right. Catch you guys in the Thank next video. Thank you for video, joining. And um, we'll be sailing soon, I promise. Bye. Okay, bye. I know we're early in on the boat game, but any regrets, Will? You got to learn this someday. That's, that's, that's You're it. learning how to sponge right now? Sponge up poop? I'm spo I have no idea. They say that when you when you actually go in here and you see water in the bilge, that you should go ahead and taste it to see if it's fresh Ugh. or salty. I think I'm going to pass this time. Yeah, I think you should. <laughs>